Hello and welcome to This Date in History, a.k.a. TDH. This show is all about the events that occurred today and years past, both recognized by actual historians, but mainly things I personally find intriguing enough for me to bring to you. The source, of course, of this information comes from the Smart Device application on this day. The music in the background is Roots by Tobu, which I found on the YouTube channel No Copyright Sounds, a.k.a. NCS. Actually, it's over there, sorry. For links to the Yap music and anything else potentially interesting, check the underbar. Now let's get on with the show, shall we? Today is Freya's Day, aka Friday, August 5th, 2016. In 2015, the Environmental Protection Agency, aka EPA, at Gold King Mine Wastewater Spill released 3 million gallons of heavy metal toxin tailings and wastewater into the Animas River in Colorado. In 2010, 10 members of International Assistance Mission Nuristan I Camp team were murdered by persons unknown in Kuanwa Majan district of Badakistan province in Afghanistan. In 1981, President Ronald Reagan fired 11,359 striking air traffic controllers who ignored his order for them to return to work. In 1974, during the Vietnam conflict, the U.S. Congress placed a $1 billion limit on military aid to South Vietnam. In 1971, the first Pacific Islands Forum, known back then as the South Pacific Forum, was held in Wellington, New Zealand, with the aim of enhancing cooperation between the independent countries of the Pacific Ocean. In 1965, the Indo-Pakistani War of 1965 began as Pakistani soldiers crossed the line of control dressed as locals. In 1964, during the Vietnam conflict, Operation Pierce Arrow began when U.S. aircraft from carriers USS Ticonderoga and USS Constellation bombed North Vietnam in retaliation for alleged strikes against U.S. destroyers in the Gulf of Tonkin. In 1963, the United States, the United Kingdom, and the Soviet Union signed a nuclear test ban treaty. In 1962, during the apartheid in South Africa, Nelson Mandela was jailed and would not be released until 1990. In 1960, Burkina Faso, then known as Upper Volta, became independent from France. In 1958, Herbert Hoover eclipsed John Adams as having the longest retirement of any former U.S. president until that time. Hoover would live for another six years. However, his record of 31 years, 7 months, and 16 days of retirement has since been eclipsed by Jimmy Carter. In 1957, American Bandstand, a show dedicated to the teenage baby boomers by playing the songs and showing popular dances of the time, debuted on the ABC television network. In 1949, in Ecuador, an earthquake destroyed 50 towns and caused the deaths of over 6,000 people. In 1944, during World War II, the Nazis began a week-long massacre of anywhere between 40,000 and 100,000 civilians and prisoners of war in Wola, Poland. Also in 1944 and also during World War II, Polish insurgents liberated a German labor camp in Warsaw, freeing 348 Jewish prisoners. Also also in 1944 and also also during World War II, in what was possibly the largest prison breakout in history, 545 Japanese prisoners of war attempted to escape outside the town of Kawa, New South Wales, Australia. In 1940, during World War II, the Soviet Union formally annexed Latva. In 1926, but not during World War II, Harry Houdini performed his greatest feat, which was spending 91 minutes underwater in a sealed tank before escaping. In 1925, Plaid Simru was formed with the aim of disseminating knowledge of the Welsh language that was at the time in danger of dying out. In 1914, in Cleveland, Ohio, the first electric traffic light was installed. Also in 1914, but during World War I, the guns of Pion Nepian Fort at Port Phillip Heads in Victoria, Australia, fired across the bows of the Nordinduster Lloyd steamer SS Pavals, which was attempting to leave the port of Melbourne in ignorance of the declaration of war, and the vessel was detained. This is believed to have been the first Allied shot of the war. In 1906, during the Persian Constitutional Revolution, Mozafar ad-Din Shadakwajar, king of Iran, agreed to convert the government to a constitutional monarchy. In 1888, Bertha Benz drove from Mannheim to Pforzheim and back in the first long-distance automobile trip. This has been commemorated since 2008 as the Bertha Benz Memorial Route. In 1884, the cornerstone for the Statue of Liberty was laid on Bedloe's Island, known as Liberty Island today, in New York Harbor. In 1874, Japan launched its postal saving system, which was modeled after a similar system in the United Kingdom. In 1861, the United States Army abolished flogging. 
Also in 1861, but during the American Civil War, in order to help pay for the war effort, the United States government levied the first income tax as part of the Revenue Act of 1861 which made 3% of all incomes over 800 US dollars. This was rescinded in 1872. In 1858, Cyrus Westfield and others completed the first transatlantic telegraph table after several unsuccessful attempts. It would operate for less than a month. In 1816, the British Admiralty dismissed Francis Ronald's new invention of the first working electric telegraph as wholly unnecessary, preferring to continue to use the semaphore. In 1772, the first partition of Poland began. In 1735, New York Weekly Journal writer John Peter Zenger was acquitted of seditious libel against the royal governor of New York on the basis that what he had published was true. In 1620, the Mayflower departed from Southampton, England on its first attempt to reach North America. In 1518, Sir Humphrey Gilbert established the first English colony in North America at what is now St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador. And in 1305, William Wallace, who led the Scottish resistance against England, was captured by the English near Glasgow and transported to London where he was put on trial and executed. Verse, Neil Armstrong, 1930. Deaths, Marilyn Monroe, 1962. And that concludes the show. Once again, check the underbar for any links you may be interested. Don't forget to look right and left at every intersection and rate five thumbs and subscribe for your dose of past events daily. I am Eo Xander and you are you. Toodles!